Suplifters. Pretty easy session today, but the highlight of the day for me is just showing you my protocol in order to avoid any type of headache while I'm training. So the first thing I do is just I get down in my gym and I start doing this thing. I know that if you go in a commercial gym, it isn't really the best to just take a bench for doing this kind of stuff. So please do it on the floor. Show some gym etiquette. Unless there are literally two people, which is you and another old dude because it's like 4 a.m. or something. In that case, please just use the bench. Who cares, right? So um, we basically train every single direction or rather we warm up every single direction in which the neck moves, right? Um, so we pull it up, we say yes, we say no, we say maybe and so on. Um, this is already pretty sped up. It's sped up by two and I probably will do it by three times actually. So um, you, will be, you will see me doing it quite fast. However, do like 20 reps, really controlled. You will notice that when you start to extend the neck, you will kind of do a lot of really slow, really fast movements that keeps locking it every single time so it's not really one smooth movement so slow it down as much as you need in order to get just one smooth movement and not a lot of micro movements so we do it one side then we do the other and then you will see that I will just message my traps with the lacrosse ball as I stated a lot of times and that really seemed to help a lot because right now even right now if I move my neck around I don't feel any kind of pain any kind of pressure uh, which I actually felt even before I started getting these headaches because my left side always felt a bit more locked up uh, more than my right one so this is what I did for my neck moving on I did some with the chin ups I recorded four sets because I didn't know how much I would have actually lifted today um, in terms of volume because I still it's kind of weird because I still feel like that I have a lingering sensation of the headache coming back. However, it didn't do anything today, so I just I just lifted normally, so I was quite happy. So five sets, um, five reps each was the goal with 92.5 kilograms, which is my body weight, which is 80 kilograms plus 12 and a half. And they went decently, you know, I didn't feel too bad. One thing that I noticed, however, is that I kind of tried to lift myself up quite quickly and I didn't really focus myself during the negative, which is something that I did during the fourth and fifth set, which is also why I got less reps, since I believe I did five, 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 four, four, but I'm not sure because I forgot to take a picture of my journal today, so I, I need to get that habit down. Um, so this is the third, fourth, fourth set actually, fifth set, I'm sorry, oh my god, I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, it's kind of late for me. Um, this is the fifth set, I grab, I get ready, and I pull up. Um, everything feels okay, as you can see, I don't completely extend my arms, both for the sake of, you know, the tendons of the biceps, and also to keep the back engaged. Chin-ups are quite interesting, in my opinion, because... I never feel my lats when I do them, but I do right after. I'm sorry I got interrupted, so I can't really remember what I was saying. Whatever. Um, bicep curls. Again, I don't know how to train biceps. <laughs> it's always extremely weird. Also, after the chin-ups, my biceps are, al are always a little bit more tired. So I did set with 10 for as much as I could. And I just got 2, I think. And then I dropped down the weight to 8 kilograms each. I feel like the bicep curl is like my worst lift ever, man. I, I can't really get it down. I can't get a good feeling with it. And I also don't like it, so that definitely doesn't help with me trying to research and improve on this side. However, I think that perhaps with the easy bar, it will be a little bit better. As you can see, there is one less plate per side. <sighs> man I, I want decent biceps but i mean my genetics for bicep isn't the best i don't have a peak they look kind of they look like uh, they look like a square they don't really have a nice shape so man i don't really like training biceps however you know a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do it is what it is so i just did this really quick session and in between i just foam rolled my quads so that is why there isn't a superset because i usually superset my biceps and then then I did my barbell rows, which I really enjoyed today, and I actually did quite well. I did 50 kilograms for 4 sets, and I got 10, 10, 10, 9, I believe, or 9.5. Or I got the 10th, but it was a cheat rep. 
So next time I will shoot for like 11, 11, 10, 10 or something like that. So you know the form is down. I'm really happy because you can really see that I'm not really pushing with my legs. And that is really important when you're doing rows. If you're struggling with rows and you end up cheating with your legs, perhaps just start on the machine. And once you get used to it, you can swap and do the normal rows. And I always superset them with shrugs because it's the only exercise that I do for my traps. The weight is light. For, you, can do, you can see that I do 20 reps. However, I still feel like they're working. Another interesting idea that I was exploring um, is thanks to Natural Hypertrophy's video on rows, in which basically he said that rows aren't an horizontal pull, which kind of makes sense because you can clearly see that I'm in a hip hinged position. So I'm not really pulling, I'm not parallel to the floor. I'm still slightly diagonal. And that doesn't really qualify the barbell row in the same, let's say, in the same set of exercises as a row with the machine. Because in, we are with the machine, you are actually completely parallel to the line of force of the exercise and not in the rows. So he actually says that beginners shouldn't row, which it kind of makes sense because it basically says that you need to actually deadlift before you learn how to actually row, which kind of makes sense. However, I still feel like that if you like the exercise, you should also just keep doing it, of course. You know, the best thing you can do is just doing something that you can stick on. Then last superset, I just decided to exercise the overhead press since yesterday I avoided it because uh, it was what triggered my last uh, headache, hopefully ever. Of course, not in a totalitarian sense. I can still get an headache, but like induced from training. So I did them with 25 and then I dropped the weight to 20, I believe, because I still felt, you know, my, my shoulders quite sore from yesterday. And I, su I superset it with uh, the rear delts. So this was just one big superset. I just cut in between because I had to move the camera. Classic, 40, lead, 40 pounds band. Uh, it's, I'm starting to get used to it. However, I still, I'm always kind of fatigued controlling the movement and doing overhead presses before it didn't exactly help. So this is it for today's video. See you all tomorrow. In the next videos, probably tomorrow I will discuss a more interesting topic, probably something more deep, just because I feel like doing that. Um, I don't really have a lot to say, so see you all tomorrow.